Hi friends, welcome back to this tutorial series. We are in part 8 of this series and in this part we will learn how we can create custom error messages. So right now we are throwing errors like this okay and we are also using try catch like this right. So if we refer to the documentation of express it says uh, under error handling it says for errors returned from asynchronous functions invoked by route handlers and middlewares you must pass them to the next function where express will catch and process them for example uh, if you go here and I need to put next okay and whenever there is an error okay so you see here okay so if there's an if there's an error what they are recommending is use next and pass the error object here and save the changes once you do that your once your server restarts you go to your postman and before that let's make some mistake here save it and now if i hit send so i'm getting this error it says cross duct is not defined all right <clears throat> now i don't want to do it like this instead we will create our own error uh, response code or our custom error messages okay so for that let's let's go here in the utilities folder right click and create a new javascript file i'll name it custom error okay and then i'll simply define a class custom error that we extend from the built-in error class so node.js in built class and in the constructor of this class of so this is the custom error class i'll i'll expect a message and a status code okay and super is a method that calls the constructor of the parent class so our parent class is error so anything that is defined in in its constructor if you want to use that so we need to use this super keyword so i'll also pass message here okay and i'll use this dot status code because to status code so by doing this it creates a variable a local variable by this name status code in this class and assigns the value to the status code that is passed here okay once that is done i'll simply use module dot exports and go to error custom error okay that's it now i'll go back to my product controller so whenever i want to show some error so i'll do new and i'll create an instance okay of that so make sure you import the custom error from here okay and then you uh, when you initialize it in the constructor you need to pass a message and the error code all right so the message will be let's say uh, something went wrong and i'll give 500 as the error code this is the http error code and this stands for server error okay so if i save the changes and make some uh, changes here and go back to postman and hit okay say something went wrong all right and then get the status code here i can also uh, instead of this i can simply do rest.json and success should be false and here uh, under the error i can type something went wrong all 
let's say do like this new uh, custom error let's see something went wrong and 500 save the changes go back here okay so not like this so either you type the message here or use the next function okay and the other way would be to store the message in a variable so that the new custom error something went wrong and it's 500 so I can do like this and replace this with error dot message and the status here will be error dot status code I save the changes now go back hit send okay so say something went wrong in the message and i get this 500 error code this looks pretty pretty neat and clean and whenever you want to give some custom error you can use this custom error uh, class here and send the message and the status code with it all right now let's quickly create the async error handler okay to take care of the async errors so it will be actually a middleware so let me check the article that I saved yeah so this is the article that I found using async await in express with node 14 so here if you scroll down it says async await in express so it talks about the pros and cons of using try catch okay so it becomes pretty repetitive after some time so wrapping async await routes so this is the method this is the function that we will be creating so I'm, I'm going to copy this entire thing from here and I will go to my middleware it will be a middleware I'll name it async middleware and paste everything here okay So after you do this, you go to the controller and you import async middleware from require middleware async middleware and then you wrap this entire code, this entire code block in async middleware. And this should end uh, actually here. Where is it? After this statement, yeah, here. So now I don't need this try catch. Okay, I can remove safely remove them. And with this. Uh, model name still incorrectly spelled out here let me show you how it works so if i save the change it says crashed let's see what went wrong product controller line 17 okay it should be placed here okay save the changes should work now nope Uh, 
so I'm gonna remove this okay oops I'm gonna remove everything from here and now let's see AC middleware is not a function Okay, we need to export it yeah so i forgot to export it module or expose so perfect now if i save and go back the server should be running product controller go back here and i get this product is not defined okay so it, it is handling the the error on its own and my server is still running so if I send it again I'll get the, again the response but now if I uh, go to slash this route because I get a response back that means my server is still running it has not crashed okay. which is which is why we do error handling right So now we can do a check here that like if not prod so this means uh, uh, let's see we'll store it in an error and and we'll go to custom error put a message here that says gonna can't find any products and 500 or oh, let's say something went wrong okay something went wrong try again later else I'll send a status of 200 and a JSON response of success set to true and the body should be fraud. And now, here I'll send rest of status is error status code. And dot uh, JSON success is false, and the error is my error dot message. Okay, to save the changes, now go back. Should get some products now. Perfect. Also, in here, when I'm sending the products, I can also send the account, and I will do uh, the way I will do it is use the length function here so this is going to be an array okay this will give me an array of products so save the changes and hit send again so I get the count all right so I hope this was uh, informative and the next video will start working on the remaining routes and the remaining methods here in the product controller okay so till then please subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends i'll see you in the next video bye bye